السلام علیکم مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ویلکم ٹو یور آن لائن کلاس آف سوشل اسٹڈیز ٹو ڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈو یونٹ فور ایٹ دا سی سائڈ ٹیک آؤٹ یور ریڈنگ بک اسکیلس بک یور پینسلس کلرس اینڈ اے اسکیل بفور اسٹارٹنگ دا لیسن لیٹس ڈسکس سم لرننگ آبجیکٹیوس سو واٹ آر دا لرننگ آبجیکٹیوس واٹ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن فرام دس لیسن واٹس دا پرپز آف دس لیسن Students will be able to identify the things which we can find at the beach, learn to make choices, learn the names of sea creatures. Identify the things means to find out the things to know about those things which we can find at the beach. Now before starting the lesson, just have a look at this picture. I hope most of you are familiar with this place. Which place is this? Yes, it's a beach. And can you tell me what is a beach? Beach is the part of land which touches the seashore. There is lots of water. You do you don't have any danger to play here to have a picnic over here. You go I hope you uh, most of you have ever you have been to the beach. and you enjoy there the food picnic you can go here with your friends with your family you can play different games over here you can take a horse ride a camel ride there are different food stalls you can enjoy that yummy food over here and you can play different things you can play cricket you can play football you can play badminton and other games so similarly this is a place and this is a beach and people are enjoying here some people are in the water they are not swimming they are just uh, uh, they are just happy in the water they are standing over there and some people are walking on the wet sand and uh, i hope if you have ever been to the beach you have made sand castles and you like to walk there barefoot and you like to make your footprints on the wet sand look at this picture carefully We can find these things umbrella sunglasses and ice cream flippers football seashell spade bucket sand castle yes these all things are used in the beach and we can find see in these seashells in the wet sand if you have ever been to the beach i hope many of you have uh, tried to find out these seashells from the sand it's very interesting to find them out and one more interesting thing is to make the sand castles or anything from the sand it's really a very big fun to make things out of the sand and you enjoy of course yummy ice cream or any uh, yummy food over also food also over there you play football with your friends and family now before starting the discussion points my dear students do you remember what we have done in previous lessons we are learning about a boy rafe and his family and his friends last time we have read about his friend ib who is ibn batuta he he has shown ibn batuta his house then he took ibn batuta to his classroom he has shown ibn batuta in the classroom and he had a fight with his friend umar as well if you remember why did both they fight why because umar couldn't see i b and he was saying that you are not to whom are you talking and rafi got angry and what happened they both had a fight but in the end they realized their mistake and they said sorry to each other as well so now let's start the discussion points of today's lesson today we are going to do at the sea side discussion points Tania, Rafi and Zain went to the beach. They saw boats and big ships on the beach. There were birds, camels and horses on the beach too. Mama asked them to make a choice as street. Tania chose to take a horse ride. Tania enjoyed the ride, but the man hit the horse that made her sad. Now who are Tanya, Rafi and Zain? They are siblings. 
and what are boats and ships what's the difference between boats and ships boats are small few people can sit there and it can we can uh, you can say we can take boat in the sea without the motor we use the oars to move it in the water but in big ships you can move other heavy things also from one place to another and there are very we can find birds camels and horses on the beach also now let's start the lesson my dear students take the scale make a nice line on the top left corner write friday f should be capital give some space in the middle write classwork c of classwork should be capital and then put up, put today's date 6th november 2020 or you can write 20 in this style also as shown in the picture and please be be careful about the spellings of november okay have you done good now look at the picture carefully we are going to do reading unit 4 at the seaside before doing reading can you see what can you uh, you what can you see different things in the picture which place is this this is a beach there are some people birds ship a boat camels so let's start the reading the sea tanya rafe and zen go to the beach ib goes too wow says rafe to ib the sea is so big. Birds are flying in the sky. There are little boats and big ships on the sea. There are people on the beach. There are camels and horses on the beach too. Now my dear students, underline the different difficult words. Beach, sea, birds, flying, little, boats, ships. People, camels, horses. Okay, have you underlined these things? These words? Good. Now, what happened? Tanya, Rafi, and Zen went to the beach with their mama. Ibi also went there. And Rafi was very happy to see the big sea. Now, what is a sea? See, we can see that there is lots of water and it's deep water you can travel from one and the sea is not uh, limited in a small place it's on the area of uh, many kilometers so birds we can see the flying birds in the sea we see little boats and big ships we see many people on the beach enjoying at the beach maybe they are having a party maybe they just came to enjoy the view over there and they, yes, we see different camels and horses as well. Why we see? Why do we see camels and horses on the beach? Yes, for the ride. People take ride on them and enjoy it. Now move towards the next page. Look at these two pictures. One picture is of a horse. One picture is of a camel. I hope if you have ever been to any beach, you have taken the ride on a horse or a camel. Tanya's choice. You can have one treat, says Mama. You can choose. Now Mama is giving treat to Tanya and she has given her option. And she has to choose one thing from those options. Can I have a ride? asks Tanya. Yes, says Mama. Would you like a camel ride or a horse ride? Tanya chooses a horse ride. Mama pays the man some money. Tanya enjoys the ride, but the man hits the horse. The horse looks sad. Poor horse, says I.P. to Rafi. Now, underline the difficult words. Treat, choose, ride, pays, money, enjoys. And have you underlined these words? Very good. Now, Mama has given the choice of that she has asked Tanya that you can have one treat and you can choose something. So, Tanya wanted to have a ride. 
so she said that i can i have a ride and mama said yes and then mama gave her two options that whether you can have a horse ride or a camel ride and tanya chose one thing that which ride she has chosen she chose the she, she chose the horse ride so mama paid some money to the man the owner of the ha horse tanya enjoyed very much but the man hit the horse and it made her feel sad we should not harm the animals we should not hit them they also feel the pain and the horse really looked very sad when he got hit by his master and ib said that poor horse now there they doesn't mean that the horse by poor they doesn't mean that the horse is not having money sometimes when we take pity on someone we say poor also at that time complete the sentence i would choose a choose a dash right now right here the right of your own choice you have to make a choice and you have to write here so if i talk about myself i would love to have a camel ride it's very interesting to uh, uh, sit on a camel and have a have a look on the sea view my dear students let's have a look on the lesson again we are reading about the sea we find different things in the at the sea and tanya rafians and went to the sea they saw many things over there then mama gave a tree to tanya and she asked her to choose one thing and she made a choice of the horse ride i hope you have understood the lesson very well now my dear students take out your skills book page number 14 put day and date on page number 14 on the similar manner have you done that's good now my dear students unit 4 at the sea side question number 1 what do you see at the beach color in the start of the lesson i asked you to take out your colors so you have to color the boats red you have to color the camels brown you have to color the sand yellow color the sea blue color the ship yellow color the horses black color the birds green and color the beach yellow so this is a scene of a beach and we can find different animals kids men women boats ship birds you have to color them according to the given instructions now move towards number b count and write you have to count the given things and you have to fill the option the, sorry you have to fill the blanks number 1 there are dash boats number 2 there are then a blank horses number 3 there is dash ship there are dash men there are dash birds there are no again a blank women there are blank and camels again the, the last one there are there is a blank and children so watch this picture carefully and fill these blanks that how many boats horses ship men birds women camels and children are at the beach have you done good move towards the next page animals at the beach circle the differences in the second picture now look first picture is on the previous page page number 14 and now on this page there are some differences there are few things which are different which were not in picture number 1 you have to identify them and you have to circle them have a look of these both pictures and do it right now It's very easy you can do it quickly 
Now move towards question number B, my dear students. There are some pictures and you have to match them with their names. First picture is of a shellfish and they have matched it with the option B. Then number 2, 3, 4 and in the second row it's written whale, shellfish, shark, a fish. You have to match that which one is a fish, which one is a whale, which one is a shark. Please use a scale to make nice and straight lines. I hope you have done it. Now let's have a look on the answers. There are two boats. There are two horses. This is about the picture given on page number 14. There is one shape. There are four men. There are five birds. There are five women. There are three camels. And there are four children. Have you done it? Please check your answers carefully. Now let's move towards the next question. Now my dear students, there are the both pictures of picture number, the picture given on page number 14 and the picture on page number 15. You had to identify the differences between two pictures. Now check it. In picture number 1, there are 5 birds. In picture number 2, there are 6 birds. So we have circled the 6 bird. This is the difference between two pictures. There is sun in picture number A, but there is no sun in picture number 2. Now, in picture number 1, there are 2 ships and 1 boat. But in picture number 2, there are 2 boats and 3 two ships and three boats now look at the children here in picture number one there are four children but in picture number two there are five children can you see that small baby near the men and women who are sitting on the beach on the sand good class now there is one extra camel one more camel and there is one more horse in picture number Two. I hope you have circled these differences. Now my dear students move towards the question number B in which you had to match the things. I hope you have done it nicely. Now picture number two first is done for you. Picture number two is a yes it's a shark. So match it with option C. Picture number 3, a whale. Now match whale with option A. Picture number 4, yes, it's a fish. Now match picture number 4 with option D. That's great, that's like my good class. Now my dear students, there Allah has made many and, and lots and lots of sea creatures in the sea. There, there is a whole different world in the sea. We know about some sea creatures but there are lots of other than sea creatures. Some of them are shown in the next picture. Some more sea creatures are sea creatures. What are sea creatures? The creatures that live in the sea. Now look at this picture. We can find starfish, seal, dolphin, jellyfish, cormorant, crab, oyster, shell, octopus, clam, shark, seahorse, shrimp, sea turtle, whale, otter, lobster, walrus, squid and fish. So these are the things which we can find. These are the sea creatures which we can find 
in the sea or near the sea? My dear students, now it's very important if you go at the beach to keep it clean or it's very important to always keep your surroundings clean. Now what are surroundings? The area where you are sitting, whether if you are sitting in the classroom that keep an eye on your surroundings and that is it clean. If you are walking on a road and you see something, don't throw on the road, remove the rubbish or anything from the road. If you are in a, even in a park, don't uh, try to make it un, uh, untidy. Just keep it clean. Even if you are in your room, keep the things at their places. Don't throw wrappers on the floor. Use a dustbin to put, put all the uh, extra things or rubbish in the dustbin. Do not harm the animals. Now my dear students, I, as I have told you before, animals also feel pain and happiness. They have also some emotions. So please, never try never to harm the animals. Now my dear students, I hope you have got the lesson well. And you will finish your work. And you will do the, your work nicely and neatly. Please try to do coloring neatly. I hope you will have a good weekend. Stay safe. Allah is my dear class.